Hello, everybody, and welcome to Experience the Groove to Improve Your Life channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Now, let me ask you a question. Are you facing a challenge or a setback? <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you, it could be wearing a mask and or disguised as something else. And what you thought came to tear you down could have come to lift you up. Both feet. Mm -hmm. What were you thinking about before the surgery, and what were you thinking about after? Okay. Um, before the surgery, I was in denial. <laughs> um, I had injured the foot, but I literally limped around for a month before I went to see the doctor. Um, they had explained to me um, about the surgery. I knew I would be in the cast, and that was on a Friday. That Sunday, I had gone to church, and um, during the praise and the worship time, and I remember this so clearly, I said, I trust you, Lord, I trust you, Lord, I trust you, Lord. And I went home and I contemplated that because I didn't exactly know what that was all about. Mm -hmm. That Monday, when I had gotten injured on the, on the job site, I stepped backwards into the ditch um, and injured my left Achilles and I, I knew immediately that it was the same type of injury. The doctors are telling me you are going to be in a wheelchair. For six weeks your feet are going to be pointed down like uh, ballerina feet. You won't be able to get up. And then for another six weeks you're going to be in uh, walking casts. Um, and then you have to relearn how to walk. And I'm coming to terms with all this. And I, I'm, I'm sitting at my house and I'm saying, God, I was limping before, <laughs> and now I'm not going to even be able to walk. I don't understand this. And this still small voice said, I thought you said you trust me. <laughs> and at that moment, I knew that God had a plan for my life and that this was not the end and that I would walk again, I would run again, I would dance again. I knew that with all of my heart and soul. surgeries knowing that everything was going to be okay. Everything was going to be okay. This was just part of the process. This is where I needed to be. Yeah. yeah. I think that's something for, that anyone who's struggling right now, so many people in America right now struggling with their jobs, struggling with their health. Yeah. We know right now obesity is rampant and it's just even amongst kids, not just adults. You know, it's a very, very rampant thing right now. People are struggling, trying to find their way. That just to have that peace and that reassurance, just to say everything's going to be okay, regardless of what it appears to be for this moment, mm -hmm. I believe. And so much, so much of it has to do with the mind, what you're thinking. Yeah. You said that you were thinking, and uh, you prayed, and you were received that it would be okay. Would and be putting okay. your yourself in a positive mindset to be able to move forward in spite of what could possibly be a setback. I always think it gets, a setback could also set you forward. Yes. If you're thinking. Both had a year of ups and fitness motivator down. Joey Dowdy says the biggest challenge to any resolution is learning to take setbacks in stride. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have some setbacks in life. But the main thing is that you're able to keep going. Each day is a new day. 